Hey guys, it's Ms. Chico. I am here to help you complete the causing change experiment. So for this experiment, um, you had to create a marshmallow catapult in order to observe change. So um, the materials that you needed for this assignment was a spoon, a clothes hairpin, uh, one small wooden block, two rubber bands, and marshmallows. So I know not everybody has these materials, so I'm gonna be completing this experiment for you so you can watch the video and complete the assignment that way. So the materials that I have are the uh, clothespin, I have my two rubber bands, I have a spoon, um, I do not have marshmallows, but I do have a uh, bunny graham crackers, so I'm gonna be using those. And I do not have a small wooden block, but I just grabbed a piece of mulch from outside of my porch. So, um, kind of shows how when testing experience, experiments or creating experience, you sometimes have to be creative. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you guys how to, or how I am creating this catapult. So. The directions say to place a clothespin on a table or counter so the flat side of the clothespin is facing down. So I'm gonna take my clothespin and it's gonna be flat so it's facing down against the counter here. Um, it says wrap one rubber band around the clamped end of the clothespin. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to wrap one rubber band around the closed end of the clothespin. Um, next, it says, place the bottom half of the spoon on the one side of the clothespin and then wrap the rubber band around the clothespin and the spoon to hold it in place. The spoon should be facing upwards, so it looks like according to the picture, I am going to put the spoon flat against the clothespin like this. And I think I'm gonna wrap this around here to help hold it in place. I might need another rubber band to do that. Cause I mean, it's on there pretty good, so maybe it'll work. Um, so now it says place the small wooden block in the opening of the clothespin so that the spoon can be pulled down over it. So I think that means I'm going to be taking my piece of mulch. It says put it in the open side of the clothespin, so that's what I'm doing. I think that's right. That looks like the picture. Um, and then it says place the marshmallow on the spoon, hold back the spoon as you pull down Okay, so it looks like now we are going to be testing the experiment. So now you guys are going to watch me uh, try this catapult in action. Okay, so I think we are ready to test this catapult in action. So I'm going to take my graham cracker and I'm going to put it inside my spoon. So remember before you guys get into this, this is the observations part of the experiment. So make sure that you have completed um, that first part where you have to write a question and then fill in the hypothesis portion. And then you're ready to record your observations for that part of the experiment. So the first thing that they wanted you to do for observations is try pulling it down a little bit and then see what happens to the um, marshmallow, graham cracker, whatever small object you are launching. I don't know if you guys, so like, so that's me pulling it down a little bit. So now it's your turn to write down your observations. You can pause the video to give yourself some time to write. What happened when we only pulled down the spoon a little bit? And now I'm going to pull it down more. So to do that, because I can only pull it down as far as like the table will stop. So in order to pull it down more, I'm gonna hang it off the edge of the table so I can pull it down more and then see what happens. So this is me pulling down the spoon with more uh, force. I'm pushing the spoon down farther. <laughs> Fell into my lap. Try. Oh. So think about, I'm pulling the spoon down farther. What do you notice about what's happening to the graham cracker? And you can write down those observations because they did want you to include what happens when you pull down the spoon a little bit, what happens when you pull the spoon down 
a lot. So um, after recording those observations, then you should be ready to um, record your conclusion. So remember the conclusion is you're trying to um, base, like based on what you saw me do, um, how can you describe that energy has the ability to cause change? So think about this experiment and what I did and how does the experiment show or represent the idea that energy has the ability to cause change? So thank you so much guys for tuning into this little uh, Eagles Science Lab. Maybe that's what I'll uh, call this uh, playlist video. So we do like the experiments, Eagles Science Lab. So thanks so much for tuning in. I hope you guys are doing well and until next time. Bye.